Yes, I'm in the bathroom of a hotel, and I realize the acoustics in here are amazing, so um, let's see what happens. Okay, so when I was uh, traveling yesterday, because I, I had to drive, well, no, the day before, I had to drive so many hours, and, um, and I was thinking of yeah, I was entertaining myself while Jose was reading to himself. I was entertaining myself by thinking of different songs, old songs I had known, and um, through my life. And I've I know songs from the '40s, from the '50s, '60s, '70s, etc., etc. So um, this one song, I forget who the it was Judy Garland who sang it, but I forget who the um, who wrote it. I probably should have looked that up. But anyway, I give them credit and and. Um, I wish I knew, okay. Anyway, the lyrics of this song, all of a sudden, it hit me. These are, the, this is some of the best wisdom that I've ever heard in my life. So, I'm gonna try to sing this, although as I've given my disclaimer before, I'm not a singer, but the lyrics are too good to pass up. And then, for my friends who are overseas and might not ex um, understand some of the slang, some of the lingo, I will, um, try to explain it and tell you what I got out of it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. Okay. Life is just a bowl of cherries. Don't take it serious. Life's too mysterious. You work, you save, you worry so, but you can't take your dough when you go, go, go. Go, go, go. I mean, <laughs> keep repeating, it's the berries. The strongest oak must fall. <coughs> the best things in life to you were just loaned. So how can you lose what you never owned? So life is just a bowl of cherries. So live it, love it. Wiggle your ears and think nothing of it. You can do without it. There's no two ways about it. You live and you laugh at it all. Okay, so what I got out of this, if you think about the lyrics, it's just such wisdom. Okay, so many things happen in our life that we have to end up laughing at them. Otherwise, we'll go crazy, right? And um, so, the strongest oak must fall. We're all gonna have to die one day, right? But what is life about? It is about the berries. It's about eating the fruit of, of the good things of life while you're going through it, even bad things, even bad things. If you take it with the right attitude, I always tell my kids it's all in the attitude. If you have the right attitude about even bad things, good things can come out of it. And the seeds, we go through our life planting seeds, right? They're either going to be good seeds, seeds of um, love and life and joy and bringing, bringing something good into every situation or they're gonna be bad seeds, right? So we want to be, I mean, we're all gonna die, but we wanna be remembered for the good things, right? We wanna make a positive influence on every single person that we come across. And I was just telling, who was I telling somebody the other day that I was remembering back to, um, I think I was telling Timmy, I was remembering back to when I was in fourth grade, and there was a um, a boy in my class. His name was Jose Ortega. He had, his family had just come over from Cuba, and he barely knew English. And he was telling a story for show and tell about his mom, about how how she didn't know English, but people's smiles would break through the ice and she would know that she was okay by their smiles and you know what that's the whole thing we can and that's why like when I go to a um, a restaurant or anywhere and I see let's say I I see somebody and I think oh that was nice I tell them there's so much negative stuff in the world that if I could oh, yeah 
my hair. Oh well. If I have something good to say, I say it. Like like um because people are always feeling bad about themselves and stuff. So if I see a pretty dress, I say, Oh, what a pretty dress. Or if I see that somebody's got, you know, it has a beautiful smile or beautiful eyes or whatever, I try to tell them because we're always getting such negative input coming into us, you know. So my little sermon for today is let's bring good things into it. Let's plant good seeds. Oh, well, that's all. Love you guys. Thanks for putting up with my voice. Bye.